So let us uh, continue discuss uh, on one more uh, structure related to rings. Uh, when uh, when we want to solve an equation like this, x square minus six x plus five equal to zero what we normally do is we will factorize this into 2 and this implies x equal to 3 or x equal to 2. When you get this result we are assuming that we are making a big assumption here. That assumption is that x belongs to the integers. Okay, but instead, if you say that this is not actually coming from z, instead it is it has to come from z12. In Z12, this is a, 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 a valid uh, equation, but the values of x are not just 3 or 2, because if you multiply two numbers and if you get that equal to 0, in Z, one of them has to be 0, but in z12 that is not the case you can multiply 3 times 4 equal to 0 you can multiply 2 times 6 that's also equal to 0 because this is mod 12 and therefore this will be 12 and of course you have 0 times any number that's also 0 so these are valid values even in z12 but you have more values. So this actually uh, this actually gives an opportunity to uh, to, 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 de to define another structure uh, in rings and that is if uh, R is a ring or let us let R be a ring and A comma B the both of them are non-zero and A times B is equal to zero then a and B are zero devices. Example in Z6 or Z12 are two, three, four, six are zero devices so definition another definition let r be a ring if r does not have any zero devices then it is called integral domain example z of course q R 
are all integral domains. Okay, the ones which are not integral domains, Z n plus is not an integral domain. if n is not zp plus dot is an integral domain where p is a that means Z6 is not an integral domain, but C7 is an integral domain. That is a finite integral domain. Now let us take a look at some uh, um, zero devices on a finite ring. So there is a result here it says that uh, the zero devices of Zm, Zn comma this is a ring a finite ring are those elements from Zn that are prime to that are not prime to that are not prime to n. So let m belongs to Zm and and m is not prime to n and that implies gcd of m n is equal to d which is greater than 1 and that implies n by d belongs to Now we will see m times n by d. This is equal to, this is actually congruent to 0 mod n. And that implies m and n by d are zero devices and an exercise if um, m is prime to n then m is not a um, zero device. Take an example here. We take C six. So five is not a 
zero device. But two, three, and four are zero devices. That is because two times three is equal to zero, three times two is equal to zero, and four times three is equal to zero. Okay. There is a corollary for this uh, result. Corollary. When P is prime, then ZP does not have any zero devices. That is because every element in ZP are prime to P. So one more property of zero devices. Let R be a ring. Then um, cancellation law holds good on R if and only if it does not have any zero devices. The meaning of cancellation law is this. AB is equal to uh, AC and A is different from zero then b is equal to c that is a cancellation law so uh, proof let r is a ring that holds the cancellation law. We need to show that it does not have a zero device. So that means let a b is equal to zero and a is different from zero. If a is different from zero then in order to prove that it has got doesn't have any zero devices we need to show that b is zero if a is not equal to zero then a b is equal to zero implies uh, a b is equal to zero equal to a times zero and a is different from zero so a b is equal to a times zero and a is different from 0 implies b is equal to 0. Similarly, if b is different from 0, a is equal to 0. And that implies r does not have any 0 devices. Now assume that R doesn't have any zero devices. We need to show that the cancellation property holds. So let A is different from zero and AB is equal to AC. 
we need to show that b is equal to c then only the cancellation law holds and this implies a times b minus c is equal to 0 and that implies either a is equal to 0 or b minus c is equal to 0 but a is not equal to 0 a is not equal to 0 that implies b minus c is equal to 0 and that implies b is equal to c and that implies uh, cancellation law holds on now another uh, simple result on product of uh, two rings um, let R1 and R2 be any two rings then R1 cross R2 is not an integral domain even if R1 and R2 are integral domains R1 cross R2 is not an integral domain that is because 0 1 1 is the multiplicative identity 0 is the additive identity times 1 0 is equal to 0 comma 0 so this is not equal to 0 this is not equal to 0 but the product is equal to 0 so a times b is equal to 0 does not imply that a either a or b is equal to 0 and that imbi that implies r1 times r2 is not an integral domain now we are going to discuss some uh, nice relationship between a field and an integral domain a field is a commutative division ring and an integral domain is a commutative ring with no zero devices. So these are the definition of integral domain and the field. Now the first result is every field is an integral domain so let f be a field of course both of them are commutative ring all we need to show that is a field does not have zero devices so let a comma b belongs to f and a is different from 0. So we need to show that b must be 0. If a is not equal to 0, b is 0. If b is 0, then f does not have a 0 divisor and hence f will be an integral domain. See a is different from 0 implies 1 by a exists in f because f is a field f is a committed a field is a commutative division ring division ring means every non-zero element has a multiplicative inverse so uh, so let a b is equal to 0 
and that implies 1 by a times a b is equal to 1 by a times 0 and that is equal to 0. And this implies 1 by a times a times b is equal to 0. And this is 1 that means b is equal to 0. So if a is not equal to 0 and a b is equal to 0 that means b must be 0. And that implies f is a uh, integral domain. And the other relationship is this. Every finite integral domain is a field. Finite is important. Here, field doesn't need to be a finite field. Here, this has to be a finite integral domain. So, what we need to prove this, prove is if uh, R is a finite integral domain, then for every non-zero element of R has a multiplicative inverse. So let R be a finite integral domain. And let R contains Zero, 1, a1 one dash dash a, finite number. Then let a is different from 0, belongs to R. We need to show that there exists a multiplicative inverse for a, then we are done. Okay, so what we do is multiply every element of R with A. That means that is 0, 1 times A uh, or A times 1, A times A1 dash dash is A times A. Now claim is these non-zero elements are distinct and that implies uh, that so that is the claim so how do you prove that so a times a i is equal to a times a j implies we can cancel a from both sides because r is an integral domain that implies a i is equal to a j that implies uh, 0 a1 a times 1 a times a1 that has a times a n are distinct elements in R and that implies one of the a times a i must be equal to 1 and that implies a i is equal to a inverse and that implies every non-zero element of r has a multiplicative inverse and that implies R is a field. Now we know that ZP is a finite integral domain. That is because every element of ZP is prime to P. So there is no zero divisors and that implies ZP is a field when P is
So there's one more useful definition. Let R be a ring, then uh, if there exists an n, an integer n, such that n times a is equal to 0. This actually means a added n times. This is not the real multiplication of the ring. n uh, a added n times equal to 0 for all a in r then r is a ring with the characteristics uh, yeah. if there exists no such n then it's characteristic is zero. Example, the characteristics of Zn is n. Because if you take any element and add it n times, it will become zero. Because the uh, addition defined in Zn is uh, add uh, addition modulo n. The characteristics of Z, Q, R, Z are We are going to use this definition uh, for the further discussion on uh, rings and fields.